everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Adrienne Kieser, and I'm so excited that you're here. In today's video, I'm going to show you the few things that I picked up during my K&G Superstore shopping trip. I did a video all about that shopping trip, and I'm going to put a link to it for you in the description box. But before we get started, if this is your first time here, welcome. I do hope that you will subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to see the few things that I picked up at my K&G Superstore shopping trip, then please keep watching. You did see my K&G Superstore shopping trip, then you know that the main reason that I went there was specifically because I was looking for an oversized man's shirt. And knowing that k and sort of caters to a lot of men's suiting um, and also young boy suiting, that was really the main goal. So that's the piece that I'm gonna try on. And I have a little story about that actually. The item that you saw me try on um, in the store that I absolutely loved, I said I was going to get it, had a rip down the seam of the pants when I went to take it up to the register and I didn't notice it when I was trying it on. So the young lady's like, oh, well, we have to damage that item out. We can't sell it to you, obviously. I'm like, oh, okay. So I went back to the rack and was looking for something similar and I knew it wasn't a lot of uh, a lot of the pieces in the color that I wanted but I went back anyway and went through the rack all over again looked at a couple of different items found another one that I really liked took it up to the register it also had a rip in the seam of the pants <laughs> so on my third attempt I finally found one that I was relatively happy with um, it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but it was still, the price was still good, and it was in some of the colors that I liked, so it wasn't so bad, but it wasn't the bold print that I was really looking for, but anyway, I'm going to try that piece on for you guys first. It is a three-piece, just like the last one. Um, I'm sorry, four-piece, because it comes with pants, the shirt, a vest, and a bow tie. So let me try that on first for you guys. So this is the um, look here, the vest, this is the shirt, um, the bow tie, and then it also comes with the pants. So let me show it to you up close. You can see that it is like a very light gingham pattern. It's very, very small check, but it's like a blue and white gingham. The bow tie is this nice light yellow color. It's very, um, almost like a sunshiny yellow color. Very pretty with the blue and white stripe. Um, and then the shirt also, this pattern is, it's not really a polka dot. It actually has a little bit of a detail to it. So it's two colors within that little dot pattern whatever you want to call it also you'll notice that the vest has a little matching pocket square it's not removable it's actually attached to the vest um, that matches the bow tie very cute very cute um, and the pants are of the same exact pattern as the vest it is a flat front it does have a little bit of a pleat to it um, it comes with one of the sliding closures and a zipper it does have pockets in the front no pockets in the back um, oh also the vest is this beautiful uh, dark blue color on the back which is very pretty it really pops with the pattern in the shirt which is a, a light blue and a gray um, I'm not sure that you can see that but all right so let's give this a whirl girl As you can see this is by the brand Nautica and this is in a size 18 which again this is a boys size 18 it's not men's or women's so 
you know, you're going to have to go in and try them on to make sure that they fit you. And I happen to know that these do fit me perfectly. And also you can always do the, the pant test, which is to close up the pants, put them around your neck. If they fit around your neck, they're going to fit around your waist. I actually did try that other pair on in the store. So I knew that the 18 was going to fit me and that was the size that I chose. So I wanted to go with the same exact size. That was the other issue was finding the correct size. And these do fit me perfectly. As you can see, they fit perfectly in the waist. A little bit of room just so that they're not sucking me in. They fit perfectly in the back. Love, love, love them. And also, you know, because I am of short stature, going with a boy's size is perfect. I'm actually going to put on a pair of heels so you can see. Not that these are the shoes that I would wear with these pants, but I absolutely could. They are a leopard print. They are from Massimo. But the reason that I'm going to wear these is because they are one of my highest heel shoes. You guys have seen these in a video previously. They are a six inch platform. So when I put these on, you can see I don't have to have them altered. Let's see, just put them down like that. Um, I could have them hemmed a bit if I choose, um, but I'm really liking the length. The other great thing about KNG is even if you did not buy the pants there, they will do an alteration for you. I may have them bring up the hem a little bit, but as you can see in my six inch platforms, they do have a little bit of a pool drape in the front which I don't mind and also it's not dragging on the ground so these actually could be perfect but I don't want to only be limited to wearing them with a six inch platform so I may just take them back and have them hem them up maybe an inch but they fit amazingly so these are the pants so let me go ahead and put the shirt on for you guys the whole reason for the outfit was to be able to find a nice large oversized button-down shirt that I could wear with everything um, from shorts to long pants like this you know a little bra top something like very simple and chic but that was the point was to be able to buy a man's shirt oversized button-down now if I actually did buy a man's shirt I am under five feet <laughs> that would have been way too big for me so again, when you are of short stature, go to the boys section. You never know, you could find some great oversized button downs there. Uh, it is a nice long sleeve. I can push them up, roll them up, whatever. This just worked for me. So this is what it looks like in the back. And again, I would, uh, roll the sleeves up, do some zhuzhang here. You know, make it my own kind of a thing. Do whatever, wear it long, wear it short, right? Wasn't this the perfect way to go? Again, ladies, short stature. Don't always think that you can't go with what is in on trend because it's gonna swallow you whole. Think outside the box. Go to the boys section and see if you can find a button down shirt that will be oversized for you and that won't drown you. See how nice this fits me? What do you think? I'd love to hear your comments. Also, leave a comment and let me know if you do shop in the boys section. <laughs> you know, sometimes it might be a pair of trousers you can go to a boys section and buy some trousers. Maybe you want an oversized trouser, you know? 
don't always be limited to going to a woman section and saying, oh, okay, nothing fits me there. Think outside the box. So what do you think of this so far? But I can even take it further and throw the vest on on top of it as well. Such a great chic idea to pull apart this outfit. I can get so many looks out of just these three and even the bow tie even if I did it like this you know as a cute little thing with a bra top you know what I mean just do a little something outside the box but having this many pieces just imagine how many outfits I can make with this you know wear the bow tie with a little dress you know something instead of wearing a necklace you know throw on this little bow tie wear the vest completely on its own with something different you know I mean there's gonna be a thousand different looks that I'm going to get out of these four pieces and let's see here's the price this was the original price this is what I paid for it for these four pieces cannot beat that you guys cannot beat that and just think of how many looks I'm gonna get out of it <laughs> I actually haven't even looked at it in the mirror myself here that's just such a cute little outfit right I'm totally loving this oh I'm gonna wear this to death <laughs> I am going to wear this to death, you guys. What do you think? Love it? All right. Enough of this one outfit. I do have a couple other pieces that I'm going to try on for you guys. The next top is by a company called Cable and Gage. And surprisingly, I don't own any white shirts in my collection. And the reason is because you just have to change them out so often <laughs> you get those yellow pit stains and before you know it you're having to change them out but i decided this year i really wanted to have um, a beautiful white top in my wardrobe so i found this one it's so pretty it has like this really beautiful sort of um, eyelet pattern over the top of it but the rest of it is basically a simple t-shirt on um, the back, it does have this lovely little uh, cutout here in the back. And the collar is sort of this double button collar that helps it to stand up. So pretty. The sleeves, a nice little fluttery sleeve. And when I saw the price, I was like, this would be worth it. <laughs> Even if it only lasted one season, would be worth it. Um, and here is the price that crazy right for 20 bucks and it does come with an extra button which is nice so let's give this a try on another reason I don't wear a lot of white is because I do wear a lot of makeup and you know once you get your white shirt on and it gets makeup all over it then it's just not looking fresh for the rest of the day or evening or whatever it is another reason I just don't own a lot of white in my collection but I'm not going to let that stop me, but I'm going to put this over my head because I am wearing makeup and at the moment, so I don't want to get it all over my new shirt. So, pro tip, stylist trick, if you didn't already know, grab a scarf, place it gently over your head before you put on your shirt, and that way you don't get makeup on it, hopefully. All right, so let me, all right, there. So cute. I don't think I got that right. But, oh, I love this. Oh my gosh, so pretty. But I can tell I didn't do the buttons right or something that's going on wrong in the back there. Okay, 
the struggle was real. <laughs> but that was operator error. That had nothing to do with the top. It's so cute. I love how that collar stands up like that. How precious is this top for 20 bucks? Love it. By the way, I'm just wearing some leggings. Because <laughs> I thought that would be the easiest thing to show off. Because everything else that I have are tops. So I thought you'd be able to see the shape of the top much better as opposed to me wearing jeans or sweatpants or something like that. So you can see the actual cut of the top. It's so soft. Yay. I love this. I can even wear it with those uh, little pants from the other outfit. Wear, this, wear those two together. So adorable. I love it. And if I didn't say it, this is in a size small. On to the next item. Another pro stylist tip is when you do have a shirt that has a button like that, make sure when you are storing them, you make sure that both buttons are completely buttoned because that will maintain the integrity of the color of your shirt. So whenever you have a button, button down, button anything, always make sure you do those top two buttons when you're putting away a shirt. I'll show you with the other shirt. As I am putting away this shirt, um, you'll notice that I made certain that I buttoned these top two buttons. The other buttons aren't as important as these very top two, and I mean the very first button <laughs> on the shirt. Make sure those two buttons right there, that is going to maintain the integrity of your shirts. It's gonna keep the, <clears throat> the shoulder intact and you won't be all wonky. So make sure that when you are putting away a button down shirt that those top buttons are completely buttoned up and that you're not just uh, leaving it on the hanger all askew. So let's uh, get that in good order. And now I feel confident when I go to put that away that that is buttoned correctly. All right. Two more items. <laughs> We'll start with this one. Oh. We'll start with this one first. And this is by a brand called Zach and Rachel. It is a safari style button down, colored, three quarter sleeves. And as you can see, it does have that one button so that when you roll up the sleeves, it does have the um, little attachment that will go up on your sleeve like that like this <laughs> basically like the other sleeve is doing um, and it is a button what else can I say it's got a really nice shape to it um, this as you can see is in a size small and it's uh, it's a very strong cotton but it's also a very thin cotton I'm not sure if you can actually see my hand through it. So, but it is still a very sturdy cotton. I wouldn't be surprised that it's 100% cotton and that um, it may have some spandex to it, but it's a very nice cotton. It is in a butter yellow. I'm not sure how well my camera's gonna hook that up. It's like a, a nice, strong yellow, <laughs> which is what I loved about it. Now, I did not try this on in the in the store, uh, so I really had no idea if it was going to fit. I just kind of did a wink and a prayer and was hoping that it would. And it fits perfectly. Oh, wow, I didn't realize this. The placket on the side is a different cotton. It's like a t-shirt cotton here on the side placket. Not too bad. I kind of love that. Makes it feel a lot more relaxed that it has that on the side. Huge. And again, you can do up the other sleeve. It's super cute. Oh, and here's the price. <laughs> Amazing, right? Couldn't pass that up. I needed more button-down shirts in my wardrobe. 
and this one was perfect. Oh, and that goes all the way here, you guys, that whole t-shirt material. So it kind of goes onto the back side of the shirt as well. What a great detail. I didn't even notice that when I was buying it. It was really more just about the fact that it was a really nice button down shirt, but that's a little bonus there. Wow. It just makes it that much more comfortable to wear, but it still has the structure. This is so cute. I am in love with this. You can see the curvature just, oh, they did an amazing job with this little shirt. <laughs> it's super soft, super comfortable. I could work out in this, it's so comfortable. All right. And just think of how many things I can pair it with. <laughs> it's almost long enough to wear on its own, but maybe with a short mini skirt or um, a pair of shorts, jeans, it, this is going to go with everything. I mean, come on. I can even wear it underneath of something. So cute. Love, love, love. All right. Well, let me get a couple pictures in it, and then we're going to be on to the last item. <laughs> I went to take pictures and realized that the collar wasn't correct, so let me remodel that for you with the collar flat the way it's supposed to be <laughs> so now you can really see the shirt the way it's supposed to see the collar there we go how's that am in love with this top oh so cute love 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 it all right last item i promise <laughs> This shirt is a deep V button down shirt. Still make sure to button those two buttons right there. Even if it isn't about keeping the integrity of the collar, it still maintains the shape of the shirt. And the reason I say to do the top two is if you just did the one button, yeah, that will be good, but you're kind of forcing that one button to do all the work. So might as well give it a little bit of help and do that second button just to give the top button a little bit of a break so it's not doing all the work to maintain the shape of your shirt all right last item here it is whatever happened to bb <laughs> i feel like bb kind of faded out but i saw this little lightweight jacket it is so cute it's a little hooded jacket and this is like a bold melon color. I know my camera's not gonna do that justice. And then the BB is in this beautiful lavender. Um, it has pockets, it has a hood, it has a good zipper pull. I mean, that's the zipper pull. And I mean, this is in a size small, just so you know. It have white on the sleeve. So you're kind of getting like three colors on, on there. And this was the price. Come on, you guys. For a little lightweight jacket. Such a good price, right? I was just like, I need a nice little lightweight jacket. And for 22 bucks, what happened to BB? <laughs> I feel like BB is kind of faded out. But so cute, right? Come on, how cute is this with the pockets? How cute? I mean, it's a great lightweight spring fall jacket. I mean, <laughs> it's got a great hood. Oh, I love the hood. Oh, and it's got nice pulls on there so you can adjust the hood. Oh, this is just next level cute. I am in love with this. <laughs> I saved this as the last item because it was my favorite. I am in love with this little jacket. Oh, it's warm in here. Do you love it? Oh my gosh, I just am so in love with this little jacket. I can wear it with these leggings right here. Cute, right? Open, closed. It's just a great little jacket. I just couldn't resist it. <laughs>
I wanted to make certain that I told you also when you're doing jackets and things like that, also to zip them all the way up to the top. Again, it will continue to maintain the integrity of your garment and that way it will last for many years to come. Oh, I didn't even notice that there on the little tab it says BB around the little uh, eyelet for the drawstring. So cute. Such a good jacket. Very, very happy. <laughs> and the tab, of course, is like that um, nylon material that Phoebe has. Love this jacket. There we go, guys. Those are the items that I picked up at KNG's Fashion Superstore. Again, I am going to leave a link to that video in the description box for you. I hope you all enjoyed the items that I picked up. Please make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you thought about the items that I did get. And again, if this was your first time here and you made it all the way to the end of the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you all in my next video. And until next time, bye!